Resilient loads away. Tough nut stands in well. Nakondi. Load on set. Gates open away, even dispatch two, and beginning well, Arch of Titus, the favourite was one of the first to emerge. Nakondi, aided by the inside, is going to push up and hold it, and so is Bel so they're going to keep this favourite out. Brazilian's also right there. In fact, Arch of Titus might be four wide in the early stages here. Tough Nut just sits off, and then Malibu Edition, Phil Commander, back to the inside. So working to the 800 metre mark, and Nakondi was able to hold the inside, running and lead. So is the way of Neki in front. In second, Bel Suono. Brazilian's right there. Third, Arch of Titus, fourth, doing it tough and tough nut gets a good run it's him running over on the inside fourth now this favorite archer titus getting uh, really ridden along at that point a gap in the field malibu additions well back and phil commander so nakondi the one to beat down the side runs to the 400 meters a length in front of bel Suono. now pressured along tough nuts traveling beautifully behind the leader just needs an out and gets it now and then brazilian deeper out arch of titus malibu addition and phil commander they're well out of it they straighten up down to the 200 meter mark and tough nut in the center goes to nakondi puts the nose in front bel Suono. Brazilian Knights of Titus is still trying to get there, but Toughnut had a great running transit, broke clear close to home, and Toughnut goes on to score well. Wins it by two to Bel Suono. All tight third. Brazilian Nakondi, not a lot in that. Arch of Titus never on the track will finish behind those. And then Phil Commander picking up late. Malibu edition. Toughnut back to back here at uh, the bait. Winning on Cup Day, and Stan Sakos sends it to the line. A big winner, and that'll give Stan an early double on today's card. Had a beautiful run in transit and just had to get out at the top of the straight. The run presented beautifully, and then uh, went to the leaders quickly, and that was it. So we stand by for these interim numbers to come through. Number four, Tough Nut. Uh, getting away late, and it's in the frame in 109.98. Beats the six, Bel Suono, 4.6. And we stand by for the third tight. It was between two Brazilian and three Nakondi. One and three quarters of the winning margin. And that was uh, quite tight. Well, uh, tight. Archer Titus jumped okay, the fave, but then found itself just deep the trip. Now, these interims coming through. Four, six, three gets third. That's Nakondi. Four, six, three. One and three quarters by a length, fourth to two Brazilian. Interims are four, six, three, two on race number two. One, oh, nine, nine, eight, the overall time. And the winner for Tough Night, a seven-year-old Bay Golding, Murder Jewel Brighter Capri for R. Weir, D. Harper, S. Narayan, M. J. White, Mrs. T. Musson, G. Shanahan, S. Doxy, D. J. Reader and A. Kavanagh. Trained by Mark Nine and ridden by Stan Sakos. A race to race double for the man. Second goes to six, Bell Suono, six-year-old Bay Man, Nakoni, beautiful sound. Gary Clark, Yanni Sluxman and third to three, Nakondi, six-year-old Bay Golding, Nakoni, Cosmic Karma, Phil Cole, Wayne Davis, in third. Fourth went to two Brazilian and fifth went to one Arch of Titus. And the winner's about to return. Certainly raced a lot handier today in its races. It had been getting back a fair bit in its runs and getting home late, which it did here on Cup Day, but today was really there all the way. And you can see coming around the turn, just need to get out. And Mark Nine's uh, got this horse going really well. In fact, back-to-back -back wins and uh, certainly career best form here at the Bay. We stand by for correct weight.